Hello, everybody. This is your host, Blake Wright, with Central Valley Charter Schools, and you're listening to your Transition Pace podcast. Uh, today, I am so beyond excited for our special guest interview today, our very own Yo- Dr. Yolanda Vasquez, uh, director of our new student support team. Uh, and I don't know about you, Jonathan, but I am so excited to get this interview going. Excited? That doesn't even begin to describe how I feel. Um, listeners, you guys need to stay tuned today. Uh, Many of you have been listening to our September staff spotlights. Um, You've met some of our new teammates. Um, If you have it, side side note, if you have it, um, you want to check them out on our YouTube channel. Um, But anyways, um, well, today we are going to shine a big, bright spotlight on our student support team. And so, um, Blake, am I lying when I say they are in for a special treat? There are no lies detected there, Jonathan. You are 100% correct. <laughs> this is it's so exciting, Jonathan. And I don't know, can you believe it? it? We This is year three of our PACE podcast, and it is our first time that our studio has been graced by Dr. Vasquez in here. And it is just, it's it just shows how busy she is building away and serving all of our families um, with all of the amazing things um, that she does for all of us uh and i i'm excited you're excited can we just can we just jump right in can we get this going uh, let's let's do it i thought you never ask um welcome dr vasquez it's good to have you here thank you so much guys it's a pleasure to be here um i'm excited to share all of the good news and uh be here with our students and our families Awesome. Well, I Blake, I just want to I want to jump right in. Um, and so I'm going to hand the baton or the off to you so we can start with some of the questions that we have about our program. Go for yeah. it. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, so I would love to ask the first question. So thank you, Jonathan. Um, and I'd like to just kind of start off by asking you to give us um, and our listeners uh, an idea of all the hats you wear, so the job titles, as well as all the responsibilities um, that you have, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. So this year, um, my official title is Director of Student Support, and that encompasses many things. So this year, I'm responsible for overseeing all of the student support systems. So the SST team, the 504 team, the SEL team, Transition, College and Career, alumni, everything that um, seeks to serve and help our students and families prepare for post-secondary success. So very honored to be able to support our families, our staff in that manner. Thank you, Dr. Vasquez. Thank you, Blake. What a great question. I I feel tired just um, listening to how uh, (laughs) Dr. Vasquez tirelessly um, serves um, our families. Um, it truly is a labor of love. Um, and sh- this is this is uh, her passion. Um, so I have the next question. Um, so tell us a little bit about um, the student support team and what that entails. Um, what supports for those, maybe those new families or those families who've never heard the term, what supports can students receive from this program? So student support, it's a broad term, right? And this year, um, I'm lovingly calling our team Student Support Plus because it's not just student support. There's always a plus. There's always a way that we go above and beyond. I see that you guys are wearing your team hoodies. That's amazing. (laughs) Thank you, uh, Blake, for creating that logo. Um, Side note, Blake is really talented on logos and he's responsible for all of our marketing. So the Student Support Plus team um, this year has rolled out a five-level support system. And this information is going to be shared out with the family soon. But it looks like it's a pyramid of five levels. And each level, level one through level five, provides very specific support. um, Level five being special education and level one being universal supports. And universal supports are available for everyone and a website that is going to accompany that rollout will also be made available to families so that they can learn more about what those levels of support look like 
how they can access those resources, and who they can turn to for questions. We're very excited to be able to add SEL, uh, social emotional learning, to everything that we do. We're currently providing classes to all students in the virtual academies, the launch pad, and the high school um, age group. And we're going to continue to embed SEL into everything that we do so that we're able to support the whole student. Because we know that if a student is not emotionally available to learn, there is really no academic intervention that will help support that. So we need to take care of the whole student first. Wonderful. I hope that answers the question. <laughs> I definitely say, I, mean, I think it does. What about you, Johnson? <laughs> Very thorough. I love the mm -hmm. whole student uh, approach. Um, it's just you can't, you can't, um, you know, you can't say, oh, academics and then their personal. It's just, uh, we're looking at the whole um, student. So I love that. That's um, your vision and what this program does. Uh, Blake, why don't you go ahead and take the next one? Yeah. So obviously, student support plus does this team does so many different things um, and with all of these wonderful resources that we have to offer, we gotta have a lot of hands in the pot, you know, a lot of these supports building these foundations and helping out. So for our listeners, uh, who is a part of this team that you so fearlessly lead? So there's many uh, superstars on this team. Um, we have Jonathan and yourself, Blake, who are our job coaches, our ATP support, our podcast engineers, our alumni network, our plus, plus, plus. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have our 504 coordinator, Vicki Schumacher. She supports students that have 504s. We have our SST team, uh, who are part of the spotlight this month. We have um, Jen Clymer, Jeff Grenou, and we have Valerie Blackburn. For the SEL, slash transition slash directed studies class we have and guys my memory is not as great as it used to be so if i forget someone i've not meant to do that purposefully but if you can help support me uh, for the transition team we have eva marie Celis, elizabeth lakey heather piccolo and that's the mod moderate that's the sel that's the directed studies class and then we have our mod severe slash ATP, which is Sarah Martinez and April Green. We have paras that help support. We have Jessica Cervantes. We have, um, yes, this is where I need your help uh, to, <laughs> to help support. Um, for the SEL paras, we do have Angela McMurray and we have Elise McDonald. And I believe there's one para who's new to the team for the transition piece, for the mod severe transition piece. And I am forgetting her name. Please, so, Allison. Allison, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the newest addition, fabulous, fabulous team member. And then we're all supported by um, Aida Rodriguez, who is my personal assistant. And she is also a plus, plus, plus. <laughs> so wherever we need support. Um, she's there to help support. What some of you might not know is that I am also the homeless liaison. So I help to support our population that is unhoused and our foster students. So really, this team is sort of like a wraparound service. We support students in all ways to ensure academic success. I also want to briefly touch on the SEL Tier 3 supports that we provide, which is one-to-one -one counseling for students, staff, and parents. And so sometimes parents need help in understanding their students' needs. We provide counseling for them because we recognize that the entire ecosystem has to be supported in order to properly care for our students, in order to properly support what they're going through and what they need. We, the adults in their lives, have to be prepared to do that or have access to something, someone who can help us be that for the students love it love it love it love it there's just so much um that this program supports um and i i just i love how um you're you have the vision to not only just support um 
like I said, academics, but just the whole student. So um, one of the programs I've had the uh, opportunity to be a part of is supporting parents who um, need uh, maybe some career help or employment. And um, you think of like a student working um, on, on math when mom or dad are maybe stressed out about um, work or maybe they were just laid off. Um, how can they focus on the Pythagorean theorem, right? <laughs> when all right. these other things are going on. So, um, and that's a that's a new program that, um, you know, I've had the opportunity to work with Dr. Vasquez in launching uh, during our Tackle It Thursdays, which we'll talk more about it later on, where um, parents or alumni can come and um, receive support. They could schedule one-on-one -on -one with the job coach and receive employment support. So we're really excited about just, um, I guess E, all of the above, all of these <laughs> programs and initiatives. Yes. Um, and uh, we're super excited. Okay, so for, um, I know there's a lot of email addresses, there's a lot of contact information on this team. Um, and there's just a lot of avenues or, or ways that students and families can be supported. But um, if there was a family out there, maybe they're new to Central Valley Charter School and they're just like, look, we're new to this. Um, or maybe they're, they, they've been around for a while and they're like, I just know that this team could really help my family, my students struggling, or um, maybe they just, they just need someone to kind of go with them on the journey. Um, what would be like one contact information um, that we could share with them? Um, Cause we don't want to overwhelm them and give them like alumni and all, and then right. we, we can um, provide that contact to specifically support the, the, the need, if that makes sense. Um, where should they start is what I'm saying. Um, they can start with the transition email and I'm sure you guys will posted somewhere on the screen or on the bottom and then that inbox will direct them to the correct support person. Um, I want to just backtrack a little bit. Um, I forgot to mention Dr. Mitch as part of the SEL Tier 3. He is our school psychologist who oversees our team of 10 interns who provide support to our school. And I also want to give a big thank you to our assistant superintendent Jenny Plum who has been nothing short of supportive in all that we do and one of our biggest cheerleaders. So we as a team are appreciative of the support that we get from senior admin to continue to do what we love in support of all of our families and students. But to get back to your question, Jonathan, transition email and that inbox will help um, direct their question, their need to the appropriate person. And that can be found, and we'll go ahead and we'll post it on the screen, transition at centralvcs.org. So uh, that's transition at centralvcs.org. Okay, Blake, take us to the next one. Yeah, and I just want to quickly add on top of that, I've, I'm sure all of you watching have seen all of our videos and are avid supporters of our podcast. And if you have a close eye, at the end of our podcast, every time it asks questions and it goes, well, that's our email. The transition email is on there every episode. That's where you can find it right at the end. Um, and we're always open for those questions. I also just want to quickly give out, I mean, we heard Dr. Mitch, if you haven't seen any of the podcasts, he's one of our most recurring, one of our favorite guests on here. Go check out Dr. Mitch's podcasts are all amazing. Um, okay. A little, little sidebar there, but, uh, so we have all this amazing information, all these wonderful resources, this incredible team. Um, I guess what I'm asking is where can we begin to find, I know you mentioned uh, a website that will be going out about our five levels um, of support. Where can we find, where can our families find information about all the, the good word as well as what can maybe they expect or how can they expect more additional information coming out in the future? Um, where can they learn more about our program? So the information on the five levels will be going out within the next, I would say, two weeks. And so information will be posted on the buzz for all of our families and on the newsletters for teachers. They can find that information there. And uh, through podcasts like this one, we're going to be announcing it everywhere so that parents know where to go. This is going to be their one-stop shop for all of their questions on how to support their students with academic supports, emotional supports, behavior supports, 
and we're going to be adding a parent informational section, not necessarily a parent training, but parent webinars on some of the questions we get asked most frequently, such as, how can I get my student to attend to a non-preferred task? Um, for me, as a student, that would have been math. <laughs> math was never my strong suit, but there's ways to get your student to be redirected to the task at hand. So anything that we can help um, to support our families to provide the best possible academic supports to their students will be on that website. So uh, be on the lookout for it in the next two weeks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so I realize we only have a limited amount of time. Uh, when you sit down with someone like Dr. Vasquez, we could probably spend hours um, just picking her brain and uh, finding out about um, just her wealth of uh, a lot about her wealth of information and her knowledge. Um, but I just wanted to just end this interview by just asking, is there anything else um, you would like to just share or any by the ways about student support plus uh, about the student support plus team, Dr. Vasquez? Um, the student support plus team is a group of experts who are not just book savvy, um, they have a heart for this. That these are hand selected team members who have the skill set, but also have the heart and the willingness to go above and beyond to help support our students and families. And for some of us, it's a personal mission. As you know, for myself, I have a 10 year old that has severe profound autism. So any support that I create or provide for families, it's always with students like my son, it's always with families like my own, who are at a disadvantage because the world was not built, society was not built for families like mine, for students like mine. So it's up to us to make the change and to ensure that there is access, that there's a place at the table for students like ours. So it's a personal mission for myself, and I know for several our team members this is not just a job for us this is our calling and we take it very seriously and so i just want our families to know that everything that we do we put our heart into it and we are always willing to do what it takes to help ensure student success awesome thank you so much dr vasquez for joining us today um and sharing all the amazing news information. Um, we honestly don't know what we would do without you leading our program um, and casting your vision of support uh, for our students and families. So that said, Jonathan, would you like to take us out? Sure, um, it was so much fun and informative having you today, Dr. Vasquez. Um, to echo what Blake said, I don't know uh, what we would do without you. And uh, to our listeners, I hope you guys learned a lot. I learned a lot. Um, we certainly appreciate Dr. Uh, Vasquez for leading uh, this service for our families, as well as um, all of her other student-centered ideas. I don't know if you guys realize this, um, but this podcast wouldn't uh, be here if it wasn't for Dr. Vasquez. And so... Uh, it always starts with an idea, right? And um, those ideas flow from her passion and her um, just student-centered uh, service approach and her heart for um, our family. So um, Dr. Vasquez, um, you and the student new student support uh, plus team are such an invaluable asset um, to our school and to our students. I just wanna say that on behalf of our listeners and uh, to our listeners, uh, be sure to share some love in the comment section. Um, if you have love for Dr. Brasquez or <laughs> Student Support Plus team, please share away. This is this is your time to give kudos. Um, and so go ahead and do that. Um, until next time, thank you for tuning in to your transition podcast. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you, everyone.